Hey, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this slide up animation in Blender 4.1 on a MacBook Pro, M1 chip, and 16 RAM. So it's finally time for an upgrade on my MacBook so I can make better videos for you. So this is why I need a new laptop. My MacBook has eight GPU core and that is not much. So this is my request for you guys to help me save for a new one. And it's completely free for you. Just watch the whole video, like my videos, and that's it. So in this video, I'm going to use my all-time soda can. You can now download my 3D soda can model for free. Link in the description. So first start with set up the blend file. So I will say this tutorial is inspired by Tutup Botol 3D and Creative Sav. I will link both of their YouTube channels. So press A to select all. Then press X to delete it. So if you are using my free 3D model soda can, I'll show you how to import that model. Go to the file and click on append. Then find your downloaded file and click on that. Click on the object. Select the blender soda can and click on append. Press Z to switch shading mode and select render mode. And like you see, I made a cool blender label texture for our soda can so you can play around with different animations and be a better 3D artist. And now back to the setup stuff. Then press S plus 0.65 to scale it down. Then press Ctrl plus A to apply the scale. Press 1 on your numpad to get to the front view. This is how you enable the numpad for laptops. Go to Edit, then click on Preferences. Go to Input and then check Emulate Numpad. Then press G plus X plus minus 1 to move it on the X axis. So press Shift plus A to add a camera. And then go to the Camera Settings. Press 0 on your numpad to go to Camera View. And press N to show the sidebar. And then change the focal length to 100 millimeters. And then change the Y location to minus 32. Then unfold the viewport display and change the passpar 2 to 0 0.8 so it shows a little bit of the viewport and then unfold the composition guide and then check the thirds and center for some guidelines now let's set up the hdri so go to world click on this yellow dot and select the environment texture click on open and choose you hdri image in the description i linked the hdri i used so download that and now back to the setup stuff. Select the blender soda can and press shift plus D to duplicate. Then press G plus X plus two to move it by two on the X axis. So I'm rending in cycles. So go to the render settings and change the render engine to cycles. And if you have a GPU device, go and change to that for better rendering. And change the noise threshold to 0.1 so you can render faster. Also change the max samples on the render to 300. Then unfold the color management. And then change the view, transform to filmic. And change the look to medium high contrast. And then go to the output selection. So I like to render my videos in 4K. So the number for that is 3840 and then 20. 2160 and change the frame rate to 30 and then change the file format to FFmpeg video and then unfold the encoding and change the container to MPEG 4 and now let's do the fun stuff and animate the soda can so first start with changing the end frame to 90 so select the blender can 1 and then go to frame 90 then right click over the Z location to insert a single keyframe and this little orange thing is a keyframe then select the second blender can, then right click to insert a single keyframe. And now go to frame one. Select the first blender can, and then press G plus Z to move it down on the Z axis. And here on the left corner, you can see how much I move. Then right click to insert a single keyframe, and then select the second blender can. Press G plus Z plus minus six to move it down on the Z axis. Then right click to insert a single keyframe. Let's play the animation by hitting the space bar. And this is what we have now. And like you see, it looks like garbage and it looks very boring. And then go to frame 90. Select the first blender can and then change the Z location to 0 0.2. Then right click to insert a single keyframe and select the second blender can and then change the Z location to minus 0 0.2. Then right click to insert a single keyframe. Select the first blender can and then press R two times to rotate on all the axes. And here on the left corner, you can see how much I rotate or you want to copy my motions. And then here on the sidebar, you can see the exact numbers. So pause the video if you want to copy my numbers. 
and for the new Blender version 4.1. To get to the keyframe menu, press K to insert a keyframe, then click on rotation. Or you can press I over the numbers to insert a keyframe and select the second blender can, and then press R two times to rotate on all the axes. And here on the left corner, you can see how much I rotate, and then here on the sidebar, you can see the exact numbers. Press K to insert a keyframe, then click on rotation, and then go to frame one. And here on the hand symbol, you can move the view on the viewport. Select the first blender can, and then change the Z rotation to something like this and then press R two times to rotate on all the axes. And then here on the sidebar, you can see the exact numbers. Press K to insert a keyframe, then click on rotation, and then select the second blender can, and then change the Z rotation to something like this. Then press R to rotate, and then R two times. And then here on the sidebar, you can see the exact numbers. Press K to insert a keyframe, then click on rotation. And here are some blender tips. If your playback lagging in the viewport, click here on the playback and change to frame dropping for a smoother playback. Let's play the animation by hitting the spacebar, and this is what we have now. I think this looks good, but we want the animation to snap from fast to slow. So to do that. Let us dive into the graph editor. But before we do that, I will say I made some changes which you can see here in the video. Let's play the animation by hitting the space bar and this is what we have now. I think this looks good. Open a new window. By holding your mouse over here until this symbol shows up, then drag the new window that way you will until the new window show up. Then click here and change the editor type to the graph editor. Then press N on the graph editor to hide the sidebar. Then select the first Blender can. Then unfold the object transforms and hide all keyframes except the Z location. Then press A plus the home button to show all the keyframes. And for Mac users like me, press FN plus arrow to the left. Then select the right handle on frame one and press G to move it like this. And I will give you some seconds to move the right handle. Let's play the animation by hitting the space bar, and this is what we have now. And like you see the first snap from fast to slow on the Z axis. So I will say I changed some few things. So just drag down the window for now. And like you see here, the two cans somehow overlapping each other. So let's fix that. Select the first blender can, then press G plus Y to move it back on the Y axis. Then press zero to get to camera view and press G plus X to move it on the X axis. Then select the second blender can and press G plus X to move it on the X axis. Let's play the animation by hitting the space bar and this is what we have now. I think this looks good. So let's do the same things for the second blender can. Select the second blender can. Unfold the object transforms. Then hide all keyframes except the Z location. Then press A plus the home button. Select the right handle. Then press G to move the handle just like this. And I will give you some seconds to move the right handle. Let's play the animation. And wait, something does not look good. So I just changed the rotation on the Blender Can 2 on frame 1. Let's play the animation by hitting the space bar, and this is what we have now. And now I think it looks so much better. And here is my results. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like my tutorial. And if you do a video of this animation, go and publish that on Instagram and tag me, amalin.mpeg4. Comment down below what I can make in the next video and with the editing and all that thing. And feel free to subscribe for more tutorials and videos.